The Nathan, Matt and Sean podcast. Huge killer guest tomorrow, Amy. Do you want to tell everyone who, who's who on the it? show? Amy? She's so proud sometimes because she's executive producer of yeah, the show. Is, and she organises these yeah, big yeah, stars yeah, for yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So tomorrow, drum roll. Harry, 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 do you have a drum roll, please? Do I ever? Jesus, big nose. It's a secret. Oh. <laughs> Don't you bait and switch people. And it's a secret. The secret is. I cannot. <laughs> can you tell us? Let, no. <laughs> It's embargoed. Oh, no, it's embargoed. if you check out our socials later, there will be a uh, is it clue. So, uh, is it so secretive, Amy, that, it's, that, it, that it won't be on our show tomorrow? <laughs> it's so secretive that you might not even hear it. <laughs> you might not. It's pretty so, secretive. So apart from this big secret thing that may, that may be too secretive to talk about, um, there's nothing uh, other than that? No, we've got competitions. Yeah, competitions. Yeah, we've got but, but no, no big guests or anything? No, guess. no, there's a big guest. You just have to listen tomorrow from 8. Unless it's too secretive. <laughs> Unless it's too secretive. Then we won't talk about it, nor discuss it, nor play it. Who are you going to be, Seabass? Uh, look, isn't someone in Paris at the moment? They can chat to you. I'm sure there's a million people. Mm, your, your idea is someone in Paris? Yeah, one, an Olympian. Is it oh, Gaga? Is it Gaga? <laughs> She's very of the moment. Gaga? Is it Gaga? It's not Gaga. Oh. I don't want to... I was like Gaga. 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 <laughs> I think it's Gaga. Mm. Um, Gaga. Thanks for filling in today, Seabass. Yeah. Anytime. It's been a joy. Um, the whistling really threw me it for a yeah. loop. I was this a This is my point mm. with, with uh, Nat and Sean when I talked to them about the performance part of that. You feel so alone in a room full of people. <laughs> because you were whistling up at storm she was, yeah. until yeah. you were required to do it on yeah. air for the yeah. competition. Yeah. Yeah. The pressure tough. really yeah. got tough. to we me. Get it. Yeah, yeah. then it was we just an really unmoisturised cat's bum your mouth. You've got to be a triple threat to sit in this chair, I've realised. You've got to be able to whistle, you've got to be able to play sport yeah. and you've got to be ridiculously good looking. It's so, so good looking. Like, actually, <laughs> like, to the point where people go, why Why are they on radio? People need to see their beauty. Yeah, it's true. It's Hence just the socials yeah. are just yeah. a way. Yeah. And what we do with the, what, any socials and stuff we do, what we do is we get Sam to put it through this, like, uh, like a, a normal person filter <laughs> just to make us just, more relatable. Yeah, that's right. Um, because just so like we if, don't feel as yeah, bad. Yeah, because, like, you know. <laughs> to be in your presence. Yeah. But don't no, people hating you because, you know, you're like born this way. Mm. Hey, hot Gaga. Ross. Gaga. 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 Don't you hot Ross? Gaga. Just Ross is fine. Hey, Ross. hey and you don't know it's not Gaga, right? Because you don't know it's that secretive. Mm, I, I yeah. would not know if it's mm. Gaga or Gaga mm. or whoever else strolls into the building. Or you know what? More than likely, it could be nothing or no one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's the best type of secret. Where you don't have to do anything and you don't do it's anything. Barely ever going to be Sean. <laughs> I mean, we don't even, he's still very much uh, up in the air. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I ran into him in Frio the other, oh, on Saturday. The job, oh, but mm. he was too sick to come to work. That's he, he did he sound. Sick, he was sick to come. Too sick to come to work on Friday, and too sick to come to work on Monday. Why would he, he be did. out and about on a Saturday? Uh, Where was he? he? He was at the footy, but he, he sounded <laughs> terrible. He sounded. Oh, jeez, I've started. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you know what? Sh- sorry, Ross. Sorry, Ross. We're good. Our show's going to go a little bit longer. Thirteen twenty four ten. Who saw Sean? Out? <laughs> I, if you saw Sean out over the week, I'm being serious. If you saw Sean out over the weekend, yeah. we would like you to speak to us and have a health check. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. I know, because yeah, yeah. He's, he was too sick on Friday and too sick today. So it's hard to believe that yeah. in between times um, it was fine look, Honestly, today. If, if someone does call us and, you mm. know, if they saw mm. Sean out, um, uh, like if we believe you and it's a good so report. So far, you're winning, Ross. Um, we'll give somebody a double <laughs> pass calling. to um, Hairspray the Musical. <laughs> oh, so yeah, that's terrific. We'll give someone something. They can right. take Sean. I, I'll, I'll take the calls if Thank you call you, 13, right. 20, call 10. Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. And if there's ever a night that you're mm. going to not watch the Olympics, it's tonight. Have you been paying attention? Oh, but the um, Olympics is on. On Channel 10 <laughs> at 8.30. Uh, because our mate, Claire Hooper, oh, is on tonight. Just so that's the reason. Her. Just watch it for Hoops, her. hello. Hi. Hello, hello. So good to be back. Your best friend, Claire <laughs> Oh, look at it go. Look at it go in a winning girl's blouse. <laughs> God, we're on FaceTime right now. She's at a radio station and mm. behind it is like all this series of fine art. Like mm. there's a Van Gogh there and, and it's like radio stations are different, aren't they? <laughs> in Melbourne, guys. Wow, yeah. wow. That's Melbourne radio. Mm. Nah. Have you been getting into the Olympics at all, Hoops? Are you, are you somebody that is suddenly an expert in kayak cross? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't. No, I am. Um, look, I've got... I've got the good sense to not claim to be an expert mm. at all. Yeah. We have got it constantly. It is on constantly in our house because it feels like a good, um, like the kids are obsessed with screens, but somehow it feels like like it's still a wholesome way to watch screens. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, non-stop Olympics. Do you know what I'm loving though? I'm loving it sick. My kids are eight and 10 and I love 
that they have not come to grips with the fact that they are probably never going to win a medal. Oh. Thing like it's something they could do. Oh, my God. Uh, their egos on children these days. Yep. Now, are you an old school parent and you tell them, look, you know, uh, sure, the, the saying goes anyone can do anything yes, in this life, but, but, not but, you. but you are not going to do this. I know that for certain. You, that is a really good... That's a, my, husband, my husband and I keep having whispered conversations about whether we should be, like, breaking it to them that they probably are never going to be able to do the pole vault. Like... <laughs> Like we'll just well, it just depends on how big their penis is. It's a, that's, <laughs> for the I mean, ball. that is a factor. <laughs> it's a factor. <laughs> You've got girls, haven't you? Yes. On the best, yeah. Well, the, but don't make assumptions about what's down there. <laughs> yes, Natalie. <laughs> um, yeah, we are really struggling with the like. Are we creating monsters with our like, like <laughs> dream big? But it's also like, but are they going to? become just awful adults who think they're great at everything. Well, yes. this is the thing. When you watch, and every year it comes mm. on, there is another singing show where mm. somebody goes on there and they say their family says they are amazing. They perform at, you know, their cousin's wedding and mm. then they open their mouth and what sounds like a wildebeest yes, being squashed too. by a truck. And then they are shocked to learn that they can't sing. They, that's what you're trying to avoid, Claire. Yes, Exactly. I mean, I even, I was talking about this in my comedy festival show at Perth Fringe this year, this thing of like, I think the kids whose parents are nicest to them are the biggest monsters. <laughs> like we have our children to actually look them in the eye and say, your concert was no good and we're bitching behind your back. Like you <laughs> need to tell them the truth. There is a monster under your bed. Like why are we sparing them from all the realities of life? <laughs> Tell them the truth, there is a is monster, monster <laughs> under your bed and it's pretty vicious. <laughs> and it's murdered so anyway, many kids. But like, we just don't want you to freak out. But it is, And it says, you're next. <laughs> but good night. Does that... Do you, actually, I would... Let's... Let's talk parenting, Nathan. What were your folks like? Um, well, they chose not to give me a bedroom door for my entire childhood uh, where my door opened up onto the lounge room. I've told you about this, Claire. That's right. Mm. That's right. Yeah. And you came out very successful, so I think it's time we... <laughs> yeah. Not normal, our... though. Maybe successful, yeah. but definitely not normal. <laughs> so well-balanced. Such a well human being. Well, the thing is, they back then, and um, they didn't care... Like, you know how now it's looked bad upon if you make your child cry on purpose? Mm. Back then, they would set things up to devastate me, and they thought mm. it was great. Like, on one day, one time my brother lied and said that he was getting me a computer when computers first came out, everybody. Mm. He goes, you're getting a computer <laughs> for Christmas. I've got you one. And I was like, oh, my God. So I was With I, all of his money that he had? Well, I didn't put two and two together. So I, I'd worked since year seven, Claire, so I had a lot of savings. So I went and got him with the army surplus shop and, I, shop, and I got him all the army stuff that he loved. Like, he had stuff everywhere. And then I wake up on Christmas Day to open up the giant box, which is a computer, which is heavy, to discover that in there was just like planks of wood and some bricks and <laughs> things to weigh it down. And Mum and Dad and Graydon were laughing their heads off. I bawled my eyes out. And and knowing that not only do I not have a computer, but I've spent all my savings on this asshole. <laughs> um, and his parents... turned into a therapy session, Claire. <laughs> I'm loving it. Wow. God, Nath, I feel like we need longer to really unpack this story. Um, are he, can I, on the topic of children and their entitlement, we ordered takeaway on Saturday night when we were children. Do you remember how we'd be like, oh, well, thank you so much, and then we'd just be quiet and be good mm -hmm. until it, we got the takeaway. Our kids spent 40 minutes like arguing about which local vendor of food we should order from and complaining about the relative merit. It's like, no, no, no. You don't get to decide. You just get to say thank you. Do you like kids today don't even realise how lucky they are to get take. <laughs> Can I, I tell know. you? Well, we never had take away because no, I was on a farm. This is the, no this is the difference. This is between us and kids of today. Mm. Kids of today, the key word is options. Yes, they have. Options. And they're allowed to make decisions. We had nothing. We had we had like you know the local bloody uh, Chinese food mm. that wasn't good and a country practice. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was only ever two choices. Yes. Our day when computers were first made and they were made of bricks and bits of wood. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, we did, I, I didn't even get a choice with television because we only had the ABC. Yeah. So we didn't even need a remote control. I at least had the ABC and GWN. <laughs> That's right. I was in the thriving metropolis we call Kalgoorlie. <laughs> 
It's good times. Mm. Yeah. So, mm. um, what are your plans for today, Claire? Run us through yeah. it. Mate, okay, all right. Well, we're gonna. I'm gonna go hard and talk to you. Mm. Then we're gonna pick the oranges off the trees. We're gonna make some marmalade. Then I'm gonna take my kid to the doctor, and then I'm gonna watch. Have you been paying attention for probably? To be honest, ten minutes because this week I'm on it, and there's only lo- there's only so long you can watch yourself. I can imagine. I can mm, imagine. Yeah. Let's go back to the marmalade yeah, and yeah. the marmalade going into the doctor. It suggests that something about the marmalade is going to yeah. make your kid sick. Is that what you're expecting? Oh. Yeah. No, you can't boil <laughs> around without having a doctor's appointment already made. Okay. Or and we'll just like whichever one hurts themselves first. We'll see you at four forty. Um, I do. I do get worried Planning. for you, though. You're a young woman. I feel like a mm. marmalade's an old ladies' game. I yeah. feel like you should. You're, you should be in your jam era, you're, like you're prematurely like, marmalade. Like I think girls should hold on to their jam era as much as they can until they hit the marmalade situation. And you are probably t- t- fifteen years away from marmalade, Claire. Hooper. <laughs> he was going to say twenty and amended it to fifteen. Well, well it was good. good got good visuals. <laughs> Amazing observation because we are, like, traditionally we are a jam family mm. and it is my husband who is up to, he's like, we've got these, we've got these orange trees, we've got to make marmalade this year. It's so, it's really interesting that you say that because I did feel deep in my gut, I was like, this just doesn't really resonate with me. <laughs> I'm, I miss the jam. <laughs> yeah. I, now I know it's because I'm too young and vital. Yep. If, yeah. you, if you're making marmalade um, and you do not feel uh, your underwear just under your boobs, mm. then you are too young. But that is, that cause, is that because your boobs have lowered significantly? Both, Natalie, both, both. Um, <laughs> both. They're meeting in the middle. I, I mean, if that's what's required to get this marmalade made today, I will, I'll pop down to the shops first. I'll get some high pants because I don't know if you've tried. Honestly, the high, the, they are comfortable. <laughs> well, high pad. The higher the pad, the closer to God too, I believe. <laughs> and you can always check if you're wearing the right ones because your name's just written right yes. there on the rim. <laughs> Just look down. Oh, there it is. Claire Hooper. <laughs> Hoops. It's been a fairly disturbing journey this morning, but um, we can check out your fine work oh, on yes. have you been paying attention. What Olympics. Tonight on Channel 10. Exactly. There's only probably dressage or something. Don't Come worry on, about mate. it. You want to watch Hoops instead. Thank you, Hoops. It's always a pleasure. Love you guys. Bye, bye. Cheers, bye. Love you. 13 to 7 on Nova. Auto Flip, where over 1,000 dealers bid to buy your car online. The easier, quicker, smarter way to sell your car. Visit autoflip.com.au. Perth Traffic, Nova 937. Weather-wise, top of 20 today, a little bit of cloud around. Otherwise, not too bad. Showers developing at 21 tomorrow and then a few showers at 20 on Wednesday. What's happening on the roads, T? That breakdown on Ocean Reef Road eastbound at Mitchell Freeway Heathridge has been clear. Traffic flowing again. The Mitchell Freeway southbound, busy Warwick Road. Quinana Freeway northbound, slow Mortimer Road to Ankertel Road. And across the metro, a little congestion road highway at Great Eastern Highway bypass Hazelmere and Patterson Road northbound at Manda Road, Quinana Beach. Say goodbye to winter early with flight centre's barley deals. Treat your tribe to a luxe. Of a night stay from just 3499 for a family of four. Book now at Flight Centre. T, do you have strong thoughts on jam versus marmalade? Mm. Oh, jam. Yeah, jam yeah. for the win. I didn't, I'm not a marmalade no, I'm person really into marmalade. at all. Marmalade wasn't in the Morris pantry. Oh, oh never. Right. Yeah, um, mine either. Yeah, I, I'm not, not that big a, big a jam person either. What are you, are you, a, are you a chutney or a relish girl? Oh, I do love a good chutney. I like okay. both. Mm. So yeah. That's really just a savoury jam. You know that, right? Yeah. Mm. You don't make enough f- for me or ever. <laughs> You've never. My point is, you, I, I know make, you can and you don't. I don't. And that enrages me. Oh, you know what I mean? Like, what are you bringing? I've made what have mango you done for me lately. Oh, and that was a bit I of a I don't want your chutney. I don't want mango chutney. I want normal, like, like a great. Well, you can't tell see me what chutney you, to make. I'd like, can I give you a challenge? No, can, no you make it. No, 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 no. I want to see how good you are and see if you can make a, a, a relish better than Nana Miles. No, I, I have reckon, no desire to. I was going to say, I reckon you could do it. You do it. Wow. You do it. I'm not doing it. it. Why aren't you doing it? Because I have to go into the kitchen. The TV's not in there. <laughs> <laughs> do I have to go on? It's just immediately no. Should I go but on? My kitchen is a separate room should, to my lounge room Should too. I go on, Natalie? <laughs> different people, different pressures, different problems. This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. 
you two were just discussing your whistling techniques. Another round of wet your whistle tomorrow. No, it's all just about the, the acoustics. Push so, so I, I just went to the toilet mm. then, you know, and, and out there, uh, like, I was like a... Uh, a, a beautiful song. Like a nightingale. It, it, it echoed. It was loud. It was crisp. And then as soon as I walk back through these doors, my lips go like yeah. a cat's bum. <laughs> the, red, the red light <laughs> and comes on. nothing will come out. It's just like wispy breathing. Yeah. So I just don't... I, I, <laughs> so can, can I perform from the toilet? <laughs> Why not? Where, I, where I don't know I'm on, you just cross to me. I'm in there yeah, whistling. Yeah, sure. Sure, sure. Wh- whistling you're just, the hits. So you're just going to be in the toilet whistling the hits for the whole show. Just whistling the hits the whole and show. You guys just dip in so and dip out. So you don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> and then once we're done, yeah. you can come back in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, that's yeah. good. Yeah. That's good. Hey, I'm going to rock your world, guys. And not in going? a good way. Are you? Not in a good way. We all went to school and we all learnt stuff, didn't we? We tried, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, one thing we learnt was uh, our ABCs. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so I remember, I remember ele- how you taught that, the, the ABC song? Yes. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, G H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, S, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Won't you come and play with me? Next time, won't you sing with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not that anymore. What? what do you mean it's not that anymore? It's not, that, the anymore. It's not that anymore because kids these days are stupid. And this Hashtag is why. Ampersand. This, <laughs> no, this is why they're stupid. We, we never ever thought that LMNOP was a word. Mm. <laughs> they think LMNOP is like a letter. And then um, Y and Z, they think Y and Z is a letter as well. Y and Z. So th- it's that. It's that um, much of a problem that they've changed the tune. Now there is a different tune. And because we have that in our heads already, it's going to sound wrong and dangerous. Dangerous. Okay, (laughs) let's have a listen. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Good stuff. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now I never will forget how to say the alphabet. Not my alphabet song. That's not my ABC song. Someone asks you to recite your mobile number and I I do it in a weird way and you're in the four, the three, three, whatever. Whatever I, yeah, yeah, I, and yeah. it always ends in L M N O P. Yeah. <laughs> can I tell you, down at our dog park, there is a dog whose name is L M N O P because really the cute. kids got to name it. Aww. They call her Ellie, yeah, and then she, she, she's now probably 13, 14 years yeah. old. But yeah, her name, her official name at the vet is L M N O P. Oh my god, are they going to get a Y and Z as well? <laughs> no. Oh my god, it's so cute. Anyway, so that's <laughs> don't let your kids. That's name the, the dog. rubbish. That's a rubbish. You're letting your children A-C-T-T. learn at school. They're so soft Listen, now. Isn't it? G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T W X Y Z. It does work. Now I never will forget how to say the alphabet. Bet. Like that little uh, rhyme at the end as well. That's better than uh, what look, we have. It, look, the version might be okay, but it's it's not what we grew up with. Therefore, it's wrong. Oh, mm. okay, boomer. <laughs> <laughs> therefore, it's wrong. This is the Nathan, Nat, and Sean podcast. The Olympics in full uh, swing, of course. All the action from Paris. Yes, um, you're going to think this is a story from Poland, but it's not. This is a story all about poles. That's right. Mm. The pole vaulter. You would have seen it. You would have seen it. Yeah, everybody. It was everywhere. Yeah, but he's French. His name is Anthony Imirati. Is it Imirati? Mm. Imirati? I'm, I'm trying to do that in French. That was Italian. Emma Hate. Emma Hate. Uh, and, uh, you know, he was doing really well until he uh, didn't clear the pole because his penis got stuck <laughs> on the bar. Mm. Quite aggressively. Mm. Like, yeah, it, it knocked the bar uh, off. It, it knocked, yes, the, it knocked the bar yeah, off. Yeah, it was... It, and the photos of... Are fairly clear of what happened because mm, um, yes. I've studied them all. Yeah. Um, and kudos to whoever immediately mm. turned it into a meme about oh. the Fremantle Dockers the moment I the siren that. sounded <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> the moment. So um, he was on his third attempt to clear um, 5.70 metres mm-hmm, height. Mm. Uh, and then he was going over the pole and he made it clear. And mm. then his bloody doodle. The only thing that hit the pole was his An doodle. Actual definition of a cock up. Mm. Oh, or a cock up. And it was, you know, or a cock block, oh, some might all say. Of it, cock blocking his all own success. Of it. <laughs> Unbelievable. So, yeah, so he needed, because his, unfortunately his penis wouldn't um, clear five metres. Mm, so problem, it was it? just, there was two different games playing yeah, at, yeah. at all. And you know what, though? It might be slightly embarrassing, we'd think, but it's a bit of a flex, isn't it? A little bit. 
a if you bit. have if you have shenanigans going mm. on downstairs mm. that you have to be worried about getting caught on or I mean I don't know stood on. <laughs> Oh, like, you know, or it's, it just can't be contained. Or maybe, maybe it's you know, maybe it's so generous that pe- like so many times a day people brush brush it, brush, oh, brush past it saying. because the people aren't it, used to it something. It literally gets in the way. Yeah, I mean, the, the other Frenchman was the diver oh, who could not be held in by his well, budgie I mean, smuggler. And he has to make minimal splash. And Correct. Like, how do you do that when Difficult. you are? You're not smuggling a budgie. You've got an emu in there. <laughs> That's true. A whole emu. <laughs> Male adult one. That's extraordinary. <laughs> extraordinary. <laughs> now, I know boobs can get in the way in that they sometimes. They do, all the time, and Nathan. Mate. All the time. When you're They're cooking. Difficult. Yes. Yeah, the amount of time you got cake batter on your boob, hey. <laughs> and you go, oh, you should put a top on. No idea. <laughs> But I want it's to talk. Difficult. I want to talk, uh, talk talk to guys, right? I would like to talk to guys. Hmm, what a great song! Mm. Cock a doodle do. A doodle song. We want to talk to some guys about whether you got it caught mm. or you got it jammed, or if it just gets it's got in, in the way. If, if it did get in the way, or if it's a constant problem that you mm. have mm. and it constantly gets in the way. What did your doodle do? What did your doodle do? <laughs> what did your doodle do? <laughs> Did you watch the pole vaulter? I did, yeah. It was quite mm. funny. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. I, I, he, he hit the ground and winced in pain, apparently. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it's got to hurt. Yeah. 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 God, it's been, t- been a while since I've winced. <laughs> since somebody whacked you that hard <laughs> on the doodle, probably. Uh, I'm often hurting myself. So, oh, yeah. so you're like wincy. Yeah, I dropped something on my foot the so, other day. So you think then... you once, wince a week? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Wincy Wednesday, you know. Um, we are asking the question, what did your doodle do? Um, <laughs> or cock-ups. <laughs> Either way. Or hits from the dicks. John's in North Perth. Hello, John. No, TJ, what are we doing there, Harry? Oh. Harry, what are you doing? Oh, no, Harry's John? just making it up. John, first. hello. Hello. Hi, John. Hey, John. Okay, what oh. happened? When I was young, I was being geese. Yes. And I was in budgie smuggles and they thought it was Hell. <laughs> they thought it was a worm. <laughs> so, that's really unfortunate. And what a traumatising experience that must have been as a six-year-old. Now, um, did they... Um, I don't know too much about geese do, and their eating habits. Are they, are they a clamper? Do they clamp on? Yes, they are clamper. Yeah, oh, yeah. he knows for sure. Yeah. He found and out the hard way. So, like, I'm guessing clamped on, you're screaming, wing, wings are flapping in your direction. It is called yep. a pecker. <laughs> Yeah, the worst thing about it ended up on Funny Home Videos. <gasps> oh, John! Oh, I mean, my God. did you win anything? No, someone else filmed it. Oh, oh. And you, oh come on! What, what did their penis get bitten by? <laughs> so, what was the prize back then for? Oh, they used to give away cash and video uh, cameras and all sorts of things. Yeah, John. I've, I've, I have no idea what the prize was. Mm. Oh. Mm. I love that. Mm. But I love that. It was he, it was him that got pegged, but somebody else got all the glory. That's what Outrageous. I love about the fun, Funniest Home Videos. Because mm. whenever they had the people, the live people in the crowd, when they had the finals of the year, yeah. the person at the video, that was usually not happy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sean. TJ's in Brabham. Hello. How you going, guys? Hey, hey TJ. TJ. Good, what, you, what did your doodle do? Oh, well, it's not what my doodle did, it's what my pants did. I was, I, about three years, about three years ago, I'd actually pulled over to, um, well, I needed to go, so mm. I pulled over and went to the side of my car to relieve myself. Yeah. And someone walked, walked past, so scaringly, I went to put it away and put the zip up, and um, I ended up having an ambulance going to the oh. hospital. And I died. And nine stitches later. Nine oh. stitches? And they, oh, that was only a quarter. So <laughs> <laughs> so this is like something about Mary, but you, you're in public. Yeah. So you've just started screaming. Oh and God. then so oh, the person yeah, who was approaching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the amount of, then the, it looked worse than what it was because in the sense, the amount of blood, mm. it looked like yes. I'd um, mm. severed, it, severed an artery. Okay, so let's talk about this whole situation. Did you go, Did you get the zip all the way over? Got the zip, uh, fair way up. Yeah. Fair, fair way up. So, far so, enough. so, so far enough. Okay, so, far so enough, far enough to be in that much pain that I couldn't get back into my car, yeah, and yeah, I, yeah, they ended yeah. up, I, they ended up calling the person walking past saw it, and um, the, the other person I think was actually called the ambulance because yes. it wasn't me that called the ambulance. No. Uh, so when, because I'm guessing you you didn't want to touch that area because you knew, oh my god, this is a, this is a, this needs professional help. <laughs> 
Um, yeah. Now, do, were you conscious or do you remember the moment where they, they pulled the zip back down because it had to come back down? No, I was in that much pain. They actually put a little bit of a sedative into me. Yeah, so green I, whistle. I, they, did, they didn't knock me out to make me go to sleep, but they, like, yeah. like a dentist does, so just numbed the pain and ripped the zip open. Oh. And, um, oh. I've, 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 I've always not great. I've always, not, I've always wondered, like in that situation, the medical professionals. Do you reckon they're like, you know, um, having a bet on seeing who can yeah. undo the zip? Because it's not you. Yeah. It has and, to and get done. Zip, that sort of thing makes the zip stick a bit. You've got to be, you know, really put some effort in. Now, has it changed the modelling contract world of your penis? Mm. Mm. I do not wear pants with zippers anymore. No, I can say that much. He's an elastic man from now on. <laughs> um, or a button fly, I suppose, would be safe for you. That is the worst TJ, scenario, that is a horrendous story. To need an ambulance and for it to be because of your doodle. Mm-hmm. And a stranger has to call it for you. Oh, oh, TJ. 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 Nathan, Nat and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.